no parole. What are you doing? Guess what, you dick? I just got off the phone with Vernon PD. No, no, no. Your uncle's no. neighbor saw you go into the cabin the night of the murder. They ID'd your photo. I've got you dead to rights. Interesting. But uh, my uncle only has one neighbor, and I'm pretty sure he didn't identify me. Oh, really? Because you were so careful. Because he's been dead three years. Well, I'm friends with Steph Curry, so. So this is how it looks to me. You were lying in an attempt to frame my client. No, 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 no. Look, even if we were lying about having a witness. Which you are. The neighbor's dead. No, it could have been a squatter or a hunter or a squatting hunter. Not all hunters have homes. Peralta's point is legally he can say whatever the hell he wants in an interrogation. True, but that doesn't play so well with juries. You screwed up and my client's leaving. No, he can't leave until I dismiss him. You've had him for 10 hours and 45 minutes, 15 more, and we file a harassment claim. Great, then I'll just keep him for 14 minutes. Seriously? Uh, just to be childish? Are you doing? I told you not to lie. What were you thinking? I thought it would work, and I wanted to be the one that got him. Is this about your ego? Are you that desperate for everyone to know how great you are? It's not about everyone, okay? It's just, I wanted you to know. Oh my god. He's not answering any questions. That's okay, I have no questions. That's right, I'm about to monologue, son. You better make it quick. You only got eight minutes. All right, then let me paint you a picture. I'm Philip, a successful periodontist that's become addicted to diazepam, a sedative I take because I'm junky scum. Also, for real, addiction is a disease I would be super empathetic if you hadn't murdered a man. What is the point of this? I'll get there. So, one day I'm working late when my boss, Robert, surprises me. He found out I was stealing meds. Again, junky scum. Also, again, not your fault. There's a major genetic component to addiction. He says he's gonna file a police report. I could lose my license. We fight and something in me just snaps. So I grab the first thing I can find, and I hit him with it. You still have no murder weapon. I do now. Here's a pic I found on Yelp of the surgical suite six months ago, and here's a shot that our crime scene photographer took of the same room two weeks after the murder. Notice any differences? We're not answering that. That's all right, I can just tell you myself. The Yelp shot has six of these heavy-looking glass awards from the Brooklyn Periodontic Society in the background, whereas this shot only has five. What happened to number six? You murdered Robert with it. I did. You lost all control and you bludgeoned him to death. There must have been blood everywhere, but you got lucky. You were in the surgical suite. It can be sterilized. You never would have gotten away with it in your carpeted office. That's not what happened. Don't say anything. More, and your office manager would have heard all of the screaming, but she was at her grandson's play. Lucky again. You're wrong. You put Robert's body into a wheelchair and shoved it in the elevator. It's a miracle there wasn't blood everywhere. That's not true. Now you're in the garage with a corpse. You panicked and left your phone in your office, and you don't have your car keys, but Robert's are in his pocket, so you put him in his car and you take off. No. You can't believe what you've done. No. Philip. You're flustered. You have no GPS, so you just start driving. No. Philip. Next thing you know, you're in the Pine Barrens and it hits you. Your uncle's cabin. He has a place there. You're the luckiest son of it a bitch. It wasn't luck. Yes, it was. You got lucky at every turn. No, I knew exactly where I was driving. I left my phone in the office on purpose. I was in a surgical suite by design, and I didn't use some glass award that any idiot would clearly see was missing. I made a rod out of a special dental polymer, killed him with it, then melted it back down. It's already in a patient's mouth, son. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. And that is three oh dams. Oh, damn! Oh, fresh air. Well, I don't say that a lot. There's one thing I still don't understand. Did you know you had the wrong murder weapon? Oh, excellent question, sir. Yes. I spotted the missing dental award when I first took the case. I asked around weeks ago. Turns out a cleaning lady knocked it over and shattered it. Then why did you run in there like that? Because in talking to you, I realized what Philip's worst fear actually was, that we would think he was just some dummy that got lucky. Right. He had planned the perfect crime, and it killed him when you said he was sloppy and impulsive. He needed us to know how smart he was. Right. Like someone else I know. Yep. Kevin.